everybody thank you so much for tuning in to my channel once again my name is shin and i'm a stylist and personal style coach image consultant i do all the things <laughs> and most importantly i just help women learn how to live their best life and look good while doing it so <laughs> how to shop how to style for themselves how to find a unique style for themselves but i focus mostly on femininity and feminine style so that's like my specialty that's my niche that's my area that i focus the most on so if that is something that you want to learn more about then you are in the right place this video is going to be really unique for me um because i'm going to be taking you through how you can maintain your femininity and your feminine style even in a corporate work setting so this is how to maintain your femininity even when you're working around maybe a male dominated area and you don't want to have to look like everybody else but you still want to be you know you still want to receive the same respect as everybody else this video is for you it's going to teach you the steps that will help you to maintain your femininity and your feminine look your feminine aesthetic even while you have to go to work every single day if you want to learn more then grab a snack and keep watching okay so the first thing that i want to mention or the first tip um that i want to mention is choosing the right colors so i know that um for professional corporate settings it's very common to want to stick within like the blacks and the blues and the grays and everything but when you are trying to maintain a feminine look it's all about like the pastels and the bright colors and the jewel tones and all that kind of stuff you can still wear color um, and still be professional and still be toned down it's all about the type of color that you choose so neutrals are great because they're very feminine, very girly still, and they will still main help you maintain a professional appearance. Some pastel colors are good as well, like yellow, baby blue, and even sometimes pink when paired the right way or paired correctly can still look really good even in a professional setting and still give you that feminine feel that you want. Especially since we are in, you know, more springy months now, um, wearing brighter colors may be something that you want to try and want to incorporate in your wardrobe so don't be afraid to do that definitely look for those it's just the type of things that you wear that really count so if you wore like a bright blue blazer or maybe a bright blue um trousers with a nice um silk button top uh button down top or like a nice like one of those really nice halter tops that look really good um and that is a way where you can still maintain a professional appearance but still look girly and feminine as well prints and patterns are very big within the feminine community and how to look feminine so if you watch my other videos um about how to maintain a feminine appearance or how to look feminine or dress more feminine i do talk a lot about fabrics um and textures and patterns and all that um, some patterns are still very good to wear. For me, I prefer texture over pattern, so maybe wool or cable knit, tweed, silk, chiffon, those types of patterns because they're still very girly, very feminine, um, and they still enhance the right features in the right ways, and they still give off like a girly woman aesthetic that I want. Um, patterns are great, not patterns, but yeah, patterns are great, um, but it's just a way to do it, right? You don't want to wear an outfit where it's just all pattern from head to toe. It would be best if you did maybe a pattern top and a solid color blazer or pants or skirt to go along with it. The trick here is wearing something solid with something um, creative. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So even if you're going to wear something knit, um, you can try to wear something solid with it. Same thing with colors as well too. If you're going to wear a bright color, um, make sure you are balancing it out with something solid so that it's not 
you know, gravitating too much attention to you and you're still able to stand out in the right ways and people are, you know, distracted. <laughs> so, like, what I'm wearing right now is a really good example because this is a knit, um, a knit sweetheart neckline top and I'm wearing just a solid neutral blazer over top. So, something like that just to balance off the textures. This is a great technique even for every day if you don't want to look overbearing or overdone um just pairing it off with something solid to just balance the look out that's all you really need to do <laughs> one of the bigger things with femininity is the idea of wearing clothes that accentuate your feminine curves right so wearing clothes that have a little cleavage or show a little cleavage or show off like feminine features like your legs your arms your shoulders your collarbone whatever right um because those are the things those are the areas that make you different from you know your masculine traits that you probably have your the structure of your face your hands your shoulders your arms those are the things that make you um physically a woman <laughs> um and obviously those are areas that you want to show off, right, when you are embracing femininity. But in a corporate setting, those may not be place or things that you want to draw the eye to too much, especially if you are working around opposite sex. Um, it can be hard for you, like you can find yourself feeling a little bit uncomfortable after a while unless this is something that you're okay with and that's great but to be honest in a corporate setting a work setting you want to maintain respect right um and respect for yourself and respect for everybody that is around you so you want to make sure that you are wearing clothes that don't give off too much <laughs> but just enough you can purchase clothes that are made for women um, that will give you the female silhouette that you need, right? That will enhance your silhouette in a way that will make you appear feminine um, and appear like a woman, but doesn't do too much to where it looks suggestive or you feel uncomfortable. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of suits um, that you see out there that are supposed to be made for women don't always look that way when you put them on. So certain blazers that you wear can hide what you have and that's not what you want. And sometimes you may feel like, well, it's appropriate, it's going to make me feel comfortable, it's whatever. Um, that's okay, but if you want to feel feminine, you want to look like a woman, Make sure you are wearing clothes that accentuate and hits your curves the right way and that are actu that actually are made with the female in mind. <laughs> um, I did a video, well, it was a small TikTok on, you know, different suits that women can wear. And I found some really great suits from Fashion Nova. So Fashion Nova, even though um, you may not think it has corporate or work appropriate clothes it actually kind of does have a few work appropriate items that you can try for yourself um, but be very careful with those because again um, you don't want it to overdo it but you just want enough so fashion nova is a great place to start if you want to find something that's a little bit more budget friendly but zara is also great with that too they're very good with maintaining a feminine look another thing that you can do is again fabrics and materials so i did touch on texture and patterns but with fabrics and materials you want to try to incorporate more silk and chiffon into your pieces and into your outfits a little bit more so silk and chiffon are like the two top materials that are very feminine and can help you maintain a feminine aesthetic Silk is very dainty, very girly, very airy, but can also be very um, conservative and very professional as well. Chiffon um, can do the same things, but again, just be careful with, um, you know, how like the see-throughness of it. Just make sure that you are comfortable with that um, and feel okay with your arms showing a little bit more than 
you mail it. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> I really hope that these tips and tricks were able to help you to maintain your feminine aesthetic even while you are in a corporate setting. I don't want you to feel like you have to throw your womanhood away completely now that you are working in a more corporate setting or in a work environment or whatever the case may be. You can still be a woman, you can still be a girl, you can still wear girly things. Um, there's just a way to do it and I really hope that these helped. <laughs> If you have any questions for me about anything, don't feel afraid to ask. Definitely comment your thoughts down below. If I missed anything or if you want more clarity on something, for sure, comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you are not. Follow me on Instagram if you are not. And we'll talk soon. Bye!